Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out. Well, a lot of y'all have been asking me for an update for my everyday carry pocket dump. Um, so this one is a little bit more epic than normal. <laughs> um, the reason for that is because um, I have a little bit more uh, stuff on me just for safety, security reasons. Um, today I was uh, out volunteering in the community. I was in an at-risk neighborhood and I didn't want to be the one at risk. I'd rather help people than, than be someone who is a victim. So a lot of these items are a little bit more tactical than, than what I uh, normally have in my loadout. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, without further ado, dive right in. If you guys want more information, uh, be sure to check out links in the description box for where to find these items and purchase them. Um, this is the Terralux TT5. Um, this has a, uh, a really awesome uh, strike bezel, which is also removable, um, you know, making this look a little bit less tactical, less threatening if you're going to be walking through security uh, gates and things of that nature. Um, it has a dedicated strobe button. If you uh, press and hold down that um, the, the mode button, it will also uh, cycle through different frequencies. And um, if you uh, you know, from from the powered off position, you can uh, turn it on. It will always turn on to the highest uh, setting, and then you know you can use that mode button too to cycle through different modes. I really like the uh, the holster on this. I like the fact that you can add or remove it from your belt without um, you know having to take off your belt. I like uh, she said you can do that for you can do that with. Um, and this is a uh, another. Uh, product that uh, that has that type of feature. A very well built. Um, this is a, a SOG multi-tool known as the uh, the power lock. And the way that this is opens is it just opens like a uh, butterfly knife. Um, it has gears in it that will actually multiply the pressure that you put on the handles. Um, so I'm excited to uh, review this product soon. Uh, so uh, so stay subscribed so you guys can check out that. I also have. Uh, a little hand sanitizer. I keep this clipped to the D-ring on my uh, cargo pants as, as a reference. Um, my cargo pants that I have on me today is a 511 uh, Tac Light Pro. The main knife that I have on me is the Kershaw Emerson collaboration known as the CQC 7K. This is an award-winning knife that was only $35. Um, I like the fact that it has a wave on the feature uh, on the uh, uh, wave feature on this knife, <laughs> um, and that really helps you deploy the knife uh, very quickly. It, uh, it it will deploy as you're pulling it out of your pocket. Um, it will catch on the on the lining of the pocket and uh, and will open. So it's the fastest way that you can uh, deploy a knife um, from from pulling it out of your pocket. So. Um, that's that was the knife that I had on me today. Um, the backup knife that I had on me. This is not a tactical knife by any means, but this is just a little bit more of a beater. Although that knife could certainly be used in, in that uh, in that manner, but it doesn't take up much room at all. Um, this is the uh, Victorinox uh, Cadet. If you guys want to check out um, some of the other uh, Swiss Army knives that I think are are the best on the market, um, be sure to check out uh, my video on that. Um, if you guys want to check out. Um, more information on, uh, on on my review on this and be sure to check out that, that link as well. Uh, moving on, uh, this is the uh, Monkey Fist, uh, one of the Monkey Fists that are that's made by uh, Blunt Force Basic. Um, this is an awesome thing to have because you can have your, your keys down here swinging them and uh, the, it will just leverage uh, this really rock hard uh, uh, monkey fist, <laughs> I don't know, whatever whatever it's called. Uh, th this this ball bearing uh, into whoever it is that uh, is trying to uh, assault you. Um, so this is great for a defense mechanism for yourself or someone uh, that you're, you're coming to the aid of. Um, as well as being just a good glass breaker. Moving along to the items on my keychain, I keep this Victorinox Signature Light. So the reason it's called a signature is because it has a pen in it. The reason it's called a signature light is because it has uh, an LED in it. Um, also has a little pen knife, uh, nail file with a little flathead uh, screwdriver, and also um, some scissors. 
Also on the keychain is something that's known as a Gerber shard. This is a bottle opener, a pry bar, a wire stripper, two flat heads, and a Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Awesome, uh, awesome little products to have if you just have your keychain. I mean, there's a lot of features that that has in, on it. Um, as my backup flashlight today, and any of you guys who have seen horror films, you know the flashlights are always going off at the wrong time. <laughs> this is the S10R for rechargeable baton. So it has a, uh, um, you can put this on the recharging port. This is a, has a magnetic base that uh, adheres to it in that manner. Um, turn it on, it has mode memory, so I left it on in its highest mode. It has a little indicator light to, to say whenever it's, um, you know, needing recharge, which it does. And it also has a glow in the dark, a um, little ring right right now on the inside of this. And if you just want to turn on its lowest setting, um, you just press and hold it down. And if you want to uh, go into the, the safety mode, um, you just continue to hold it down. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little feature. And it also has a, uh, a reverse pocket clip so that you can put it on to a hat. So you can use this like, a, like as, a, as a headlamp, so just clip it on right there. Um, the hat, speaking of which, that I have on is, this was sent to me by Notch, and this is, I just recently got this. Um, but the way that this works is that you can wear your sunglasses, such as, um, this is the sunglasses I have right, right now. This is the Oakley Fuel Cell. Um, but uh, they go right in into these uh, notches, as the name implies. And um, this is really good for, for people who maybe they, uh, they wear sunglasses a lot. Um, maybe they also wear uh, safety glasses. Um, and this way you can wear a hat and, and not interfere. And um, the cool thing about uh, this particular one is that, you know, you can uh, you know, put whatever it is on that you want. Anything that you like to have on it. <laughs> Anyways, am I going, am I going too far? And, and you can, any, any ways that you, uh, you want to customize with, uh, you know, different morale patches, um, you, you can do so with, with this hat. All right, point made. Moving along, here is, uh, this is another item that I had on. This is, I, I kept in my jacket pocket. So this is winter that I'm carrying this on me so I can carry a little bit more items than the normal. But uh, this is the Kimber Pepper Blaster 2. Um, this you can also get from Amazon, but basically you, you push this, uh, the plastic uh, part over, and then you can uh, to basically push it over and then squeeze the trigger. Um, it also has a, a way that you can attach a, a lanyard to it as well. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, little, uh, pretty cool little, uh, self-defense mechanism. Be sure you're obeying all of your local uh, laws. If you use a um, pepper spray, at least in the United States, without needing it for, if you're not using it in self-defense, uh, that is a felony. So just keep those things in mind. This is a Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. I've had this for a couple years, I think now, at this point. I also have a, uh, in this little mesh pouch, I keep a CRKT Eaton tool. This has come in handy, so to speak. <laughs> Uh, more than once. You know, sometimes you got a plate of food in front of you and you can't eat it because it's not civilized to eat some food without, uh, <laughs> without um, some uh, silverware. So I got a spare uh, key just in case I uh, lock the door as I walk out, but don't have my keys in my pockets. I've done that more than once. Uh, this is the Ian Sinclair credit card knife. Um, they are coming out with the new model, so stay tuned for my review on that. And also have a uh, this little magnifying glass, magnifying glass, little lens right here. Um, and I can start fires with this if I wanted to, if I ever find myself in a survival situation. Also, I have a big lighter that can help out with that as well. Uh, but I basically, I'm just using this to enable my friends to smoke <laughs> or to uh, burn off strings. Um, I also have Fisher Space Pen, some Band Aids, Neosporin, Chapstick, Aspirin, and Benadryl just in the case I come across someone with a reaction or having a heart attack. I am CPR certified as well, so I like to like to help out if I can. This is a notepad that's a waterproof notepad known as Right in the Rain. Moving along. <clears throat> this is the the holster that I 
uh, conceal carry with. This is known as the Nate Squared um, Tactical Holster. There's, there's three different uh, types of holsters that they make. And this is one of the most comfortable, uh, one of the most budget friendly, and I don't know what else to say. It's also made in America. Uh, I really like, this is one of my, my favorite uh, holsters that I have. Highly recommend it. Be sure to check out the link. Nate Squared. It looks like N82, but it's, it stands for Nate Squared Tactical. Uh, check them out. Tell them about the bug out sent you. Highly recommend this. And inside uh, the holster, I keep a SP101 uh, by Ruger. This is a 357 Magnum revolver. Yes, I know. So you might like a different gun than, than I like, but this is just a, this is what I carry, and I carry it all, all the time. Um, I also have my uh, smartphone. This is a Samsung Galaxy S4. Um, has a Batman background because Batman's superpower is being prepared all the time. Who can argue with that? Uh, moving right along. I got a fossil wallet. This thing is awesome. <laughs> it also has money in it. Hooray! <laughs> uh, it doesn't always have money in it. Um, this I got from TJ Maxx. Uh, got a good deal on it. Uh, be sure to check out my upcoming video that I'll uh, I'm going to talk about some places where I get some some budget for, uh, or discounted items from. Um, moving along to uh, what I keep on my hands and wrists. This is uh, you know it's a wedding band. It doesn't really do anything other than the obvious state that I'm happily married. And I got a Forrester uh, Casio watch. Um, this. I got from a local watch shop. A lot of y'all have asked me how I got this integrated into it. Um, be sure you guys check out and support your local mom and pop shops. Um, you know, maybe your local mom and pop knife shops even. Um, yes, I do leave links in the in these videos, but I really do encourage you guys to support small businesses. Speaking of which, um, this the small business made this uh, handmade this uh, paracord bracelet. So so be sure you guys are. Are supporting those businesses that are out there. Um, also have a little orange bandana. Orange bandanas are great because you can signal for help, you know. This is, this is a great way to, uh, to to let people know that you uh, are in distress. And some gloves. These are by Mechanics. Uh, and like I said, I was out there uh, working in the community, so it's good to have a good pair of gloves on you. You don't want to be beating up your your fingers too much. Take it for take it for me. I got all sorts of scars to, to show for it. And lastly, I have my sunglasses, which I already covered. Uh, those are the, uh, the Oakley uh, fuel cell too. So, anyways, guys, um, those are all the different products that I was uh, carrying on me today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And uh, like I said, the links for all these will be in the description box. Um, these are all items that I had on me. Um, and uh, although I don't always carry all of these on me, it really didn't feel uncomfortable in any way. I didn't feel weighted down, anything like that, uh, just because of how I uh, distributed the weight to different pockets. Um, using a nylon tactical belt helped a lot, etc., etc. Um, be sure you to check out Notch. I'm going to be doing a review of them uh, soon, but uh, they, ha they also have some other hats as well. Um, so this would be good for like in the woods. This would be good, you know, night on the town. Um, some of them are adjustable, some of them are, are fitted. So uh, be sure to check out, um, you know, stay subscribed for more reviews and, and check uh, out these products using the link in the description box below. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Uh, Y'all stay safe out there, and remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless. <laughs>